Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is the Bad 300, and welcome back. And let's go outside. This is my latest creation. It's going up on the Steam Workshop. It is 100% vanilla. This is the Bad Code DR143 Deep Drilling Platform. And it will maneuver its maximum weight, as you can see here. We got six forward, six reverse thrusters. All kinds of uh, lifting thrusters because this beast is heavy. And of course, three for the side to side. Uh, you have full ground access, multiple landing gears, which Apparently the last time I landed it, I broke one off. That's no big deal. That's why there are multiple landing gears. Now, this will drill a fairly deep hole. As you see, I am 146 meters from the top. And it does about a 70 meter deep hole. A very large drill head this was also made with the intention of using it with other mods and it is an extremely large ship but it is just a drilling platform the main inspiration came from the oil derricks the oil uh, drilling platforms. Now you could make this go deeper by installing a larger tower as you see. We do have the beacon, the antenna, and of course lasers. We have multiple defense turrets. These here, these engine nacelles are also small craft landing pads. Now let's go for it. As you can see here, you can see the interior of the cells. Now this does have a lot and I mean a lot of battery storage. It has four large storage containers. We have the drill here and of course all the controls. You have the drill lock, the drills themselves, the pistons forward and reverse, and safety lights for that good flashing effect. I put these screens up here because I don't know how to program the screens but if I did what they would tell you is the depth of your pistons and the total mass cargo that's the other thing is having the cargo balanced. Now this thing does fly rather well. You definitely have to have the pistons locked down or they will snap off. Uh, you got a door there. You got two doors up there to go to the upper. Then both these hangar doors are fully integrated. You can see out here. <clears throat> And this gives you the ability that to come up here and land on your pad. It also has a camera on the front and the ability to remote control it. I am not going to operate the drill quite yet. It does get a little laggy. But you can come in here, out here, or down to the drill platform. Now it does drill rather slowly run back up here and there are merge blocks on the back so you could actually attach more items now let's go and see if we can't lag everything out okay let's uh, look at it from here let's go and okay let's Turn all my thrusters to the on position. Okay. And 
Now right now we are actually just a tad overloaded because of drilling. But there we go. Come forward to a new spot. And then gently coast back down to the ground. Okay, let's check our landing gear. Looks like most of them are in contact. Okay. Thrusters. Oh. Now I am currently in creative, so this thing can actually haul more than uh, we have in it. That's why it was so sluggish to take off. It's actually overloaded. But it is a fairly large mass at any given rate because uh, I did preload all the things just for testing okay uh, let's go info this thing is 4232 blocks and it is a grid mass of 63,000 Yep, 63,000. Okay, so once we get here, the first thing we do is hit T. That bounces a little bit. Turn on the drill. And we engage the pistons. And if we watch, we'll just drill a little bit here. I'm sure I sound very lovely right at the moment. I got a pretty good sinus cold and flu or something going on. But as you see, she drops. That's the worst part about it is it comes back up a little too slow. I'd like it to start out a lot faster. But Oh, come on. It does get a little laggy when it's drilling, but if you was to remote control this and send it across the map, and we have just started to make contact. As you can see, it gets to shoving the pistons out pretty far. Okay, let's uh, reverse the pistons Here a little bit. Shut the drills off. So lag gone. And we let it come all the way back up. Yeah, sometimes once these pistons get extended out it gets hard to tell because I do have them going at a very slow rate 0 0.001 is how fast each piston is extending so it does take it a while to drill down to those far depths but as we all know drilling on a planet is nothing like drilling on an asteroid anymore And we are locked down. So now we engage our lock. And we are ready to move on to the next site. Now, of course, if this ship was uh, on a planet and we were remote controlling, or even if we were in it right now, we would be taking it back to a base to offload. 
which as we can see right there we have a connection and let's just fly around the outside it does fly fairly well for its size it can be a little bit tricky but like I said it has plenty of batteries it has four large reactors on it and solar panels so it always has a way of recharging itself even if it has to sit for a day or two to recharge okay guys I hope you like this this will be going up on the steam workshop I hope you enjoyed going with it and we will catch you on the flip side bye bye